It's time to get higher with your girl, B. Welcome back, guys. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is B. That's B. Double E. Big Earth Energy. And I am an environmental artist. I rap and sing about environmentalism and sustainability. I also have some cool sustainable merch. And I do these talks right here. So, I'm so happy to have you Earth Warriors joining in this conversation. Now, we are talking about the higher consciousness and awareness for our Earth. And giving a damn about our planet. See? Protect the Earth. This is what I'm talking about. Yes, so welcome back, guys, and welcome to all you new people. Please, if you like the content I create, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much. And so if you guys want to know a little more about me, I suggest you check out the very first video in this playlist where I tell you all about my background and uh, just about what these talks are going to be about. It's the introduction, very first video. So today, I wanted to go ahead and lay the groundwork for the talks that are going to be from here on out to come. So basically, today I want to cover our environment, why it's so important, and I also want to leave us all on the same page with the definition of what sustainability means. So, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so why is the environment important anyways, right? So here on Earth, we rely on natural resources. Um, basically, a natural resource is a substance or an energy source that we are taking from our environment um, and we rely on it to survive. So there are different kinds of natural resources. It's going to break down into two different categories. So we're going to go over them now. We have renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Now, I want to just make sure we're really clear on the term because although renewable resources, it might sound like, okay, well, if it's renewable, I don't have to worry about it. Like then I can use it, but we need to really understand what the term means. So, a renewable resource is going to be one that replenishes over a shorter period of time. Um, Non-renewables are going to be in finite supply and they're going to form a lot more slower than we use them. So sometimes I run into the argument um, that, oh, well, you know, trees are growing, you know, so I can use it. But it is important that we use things at a sustainable rate because there are some resources that can be used inexhaustibly that are constantly there for us, right? Now, if we think about a resource that we have that is always renewed, um, sunlight, wind, wave energy. So, hello, why aren't we using solar wind and wave energy? Um, why aren't we investing in that? I don't know. Fossil fuel industry probably hates me, but I don't like you too much either. But on this channel, we just don't sting, don't judge. We just love. So please heed my advice. Switch and invest in solar, wind, and wave. Please, because we need it. And so anyway, let's move on to some other renewable resources that we have. Things like timber animal products, um, or populations rather, excuse me, uh, water, fertile soil. Now, these can take months, years, or even decades to renew themselves. So these type of resources must be used at a sustainable rate because if we consume them faster than they can replenish, we will deplete them. So no, saying just because there's trees everywhere and I see them growing all the time, that does not mean that we just have the right to constantly use them because we still run the risk of depleting them if we are using them faster than they can renew themselves. So renewable resources must be taken more seriously. Um, but there are other renewable resources that we really should invest in because 
sun always comes up. The wind's always there. Waves, the ocean's always waving. So we should really invest in the things that we know for sure are always going to be there. But right now, how it stands, a lot of... Um, a lot of resources are put into the fossil fuel industry and minerals and fossil fuels are a part of the non-renewable resource group. So once these are depleted, uh, they will no longer be available to us. And not to mention the negative effects of combusting fossil fuels and how it warms our planet. So we kind of have a double whammy there when it comes to using fossil fuels. That's why it's so important to try to invest in new technology, um, and most of it already exists, um, we just need to switch to it, and also do our part in really working to be sustainable when we're using our other resources. Now let's move on to environmental ethics. Basically, environmental ethics is going to be the ethological standards placed on um, the relationship between people and non-human entities. So there's three main perspectives. There is anthropocentric, biocentric, and ecocentric. Now, please don't let the crazy words fool you. We're going to break it down. It is a lot um, simpler than it sounds. Um, an anthropocentric view is very human centered. So basically the value is placed on human beings only. So basically um, you're going to be most concerned with how decisions and things impact people only, cost and benefit people. Um, sometimes uh, this anthropocentric view denies, overlooks, or even devalues non-human entities and the fact that they may have rights or inherent value. They do not believe that. Humans hold the value. Now, a biocentric view is going to place value on all living things. This is both human and non-human life. They will all have ethical standing. So we're talking, you know, animals, humans, plants, uh, living things. Now, an ecocentric view um, is going to take into consideration and value living as well as non-living. This is focused on the entire system. And the highest concern is on the effects of everything as a whole. So I just wanted to put this out there because it is very important to consider and keep in mind the different perspectives when sharing sustainability with others. We don't all think the same and by by no means is me going over the saying one's more right than the other or better than the other. We just need to understand that we all think differently and some people value different things. So when you're wanting to share sustainability with somebody, if they're more anthropocentric, you may need to talk with them about how it benefits them specifically, you know, how it benefits humans specifically and the intrinsic value, you know, our ecosystem gives to us. But, you know, somebody who has more of a biocentric view, you may talk about animals to them and be like, you know, this this helps all living creatures. Someone who's more ecocentric, you you may they may want a little more proof that it's affecting the entire system. So you get me there where I'm going with this. We just want to have an understanding of where everybody's coming from and be able to talk in a more global view. So next, I want to leave us all with a definition of sustainability that we can all move forward with these talks on the same foot. All right, guys, so sustainability basically means uh, living within our planet's means so that the earth can sustain us all life for the future to come. So this means leaving something for our children, for our grandchildren, and leaving the world as full and as rich as we live in it now. So sustainability, it means conserving the earth's resources and making sure that future generations can have them as well. It means developing solutions for the long term. Sustainability requires maintaining our functioning natural systems because we can't sustain human existence without sustaining the planet that we live on. All right, so that's the definition of sustainability we can move forward with. Um, now we know why our environment's so important, the resources we use are so important, why conserving them is so important, 
and we can move forward with talking about sustainability and just the solutions and I'm really excited. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me and please remember that we all value different things but most importantly I value you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for getting higher with B. I'll catch you next time. Bye.